and Merry Christmas. We have some business to attend to with these plants in this DWC system. So let's not waste any time and let's get started. So our water should be ready. It has been dechlorinating the past few days. And uh, I'll let you guys know that I have taken some snow. I brought it inside and I have been melting it also the last couple days. And I'm going to run one of the buckets with rainwater and the other two with dechlorinated water just to see what kind of results we get. So one of them will be rainwater. So the nutrient I'm using is a three-part formula. There's a grow, a micro, and a bloom. And if you just look on the back of the bottle, you'll usually see a grow chart that tells you how much to mix of each. And let's take a closer look at uh, the chart here that's on the label. What you're looking at right now is the feed chart for the nutrients that I use with my hydroponic systems. Uh, the nutrients I use is it's a three-part system you will have a grow, micro, and a bloom formula. And depending on the stage of your plant growth, you will add different amounts of each to your reservoir. If you're using a three-part formula as well, you'll probably have a chart similar to this. This chart might seem a little intimidating at first, but if we break it down, you'll find that it's actually quite simple. If you look to the far left, you'll see there are five rows. We have seedlings and cuttings, mild all-purpose, vegetative growth, beginning bloom stage, and the bloom and ripen stage. So given the stage of growth of your plants, you'll just be referring to that row for your mixing instructions. If you look to the right of the growth stage column, you'll see uh, PPM, and that stands for parts per million. Assuming that the water you're using is distilled or rainwater and it's perfectly pure, that rainwater will have zero parts per million of impurities or chemicals in it. This column is showing us what we should be getting for a parts per million reading for the stage that we are mixing for. For example, if we look at seedlings and cuttings, once we're done mixing our chemical solution, our nutrient solution for that stage, our water should be reading at about 300 parts per million of nutrient that we have added to that water. If we look to the right of the parts per million column, we have three more columns, grow, micro, and bloom, and each one of these columns is divided into three sections. We have a milliliter per four liters, milliliter per 10 liters, and teaspoons per US gallon. So using the seedlings and cutting stage as an example again, let's say our reservoir was 10 liters we would add 7.5 milliliters of the grow formula, 5 milliliters of the micro formula, and 2.5 milliliters of the bloom formula. When mixing these solutions, it's recommended you start with the micro, then add the grow, and then the bloom. And we do not add these chemicals all at the same time. We give each of them time to mix, and we definitely would not mix them all together in the same cup or jar before pouring them into the reservoir. You can have what is called nutrient lockout where your plant can't access uh, specific or all, even all the nutrients uh, in your reservoir. Uh, this could be because of a chemical reaction from mixing everything together. So it just prevents your plants from absorbing the nutrient they need through the roots. Once your plants would be done with the seedlings and cutting stage, you could move on to the mild all-purpose or the vegetative growth stage and uh, before doing this you would empty out your reservoir get fresh water and remix everything again now the parts per million and the mixing instructions for these nutrients they're usually for a specific type of plant so again every plant will be different uh, you definitely wouldn't use these values if you're trying to grow something like lettuce you would maybe want to go half or even quarter strength if you're doing that uh, peppers tomatoes they're about the same so you'd be alright using these mixed quantities you can play around with it too if you're not worried about losing plants you can try more try less just pay attention to how your plants are responding to what you're feeding them and you can make the necessary corrections all right, so based on that, I'm going to start adding nutrient to my water. And I'm just going to test the parts per million before I start adding everything. So my tap water is about 200 parts per million of impurities. 
um, this could be the fluorides or calcium lime. These are things that are in your water supply. As for the rainwater, though, it's reading about 11 parts per million. So it's a lot more of a cleaner base than the tap water is. I'm going to go ahead now and start adding my nutrient. Uh, the reservoirs here are about 15 liters each, so I'm going to mix according to that. I'm going to put them somewhere between the mild all-purpose and the vegetative growth stage. So I'm going to go ahead and start mixing. So we're ready to go ahead and add our plants now. The nutrient is all mixed up. I'm going to put back in the air stones, put back on the baskets, and we'll get some plants in there. In the last video, some guys mentioned that uh, to keep the air stones on, on the bottom of the bucket, and that's what I'll be trying to do. I have a little suction cup here, and uh, see if we can get that air stone down on the bottom. If that doesn't work, I'll just maybe put a little weight on the air stone. But let's get some plants in here. So also based on suggestion, I've brought the water level up to just maybe half an inch to an inch above the bottom of the net pot. And uh, now I'm set, I'm just going to put in some hydrogen and put in the plants. So anyways, that's about it. I guess we'll just wait to see how things look in a few weeks. And hopefully everything is still living. And I think that might be it for videos for this year, because I've got Christmas parties, Christmas shopping, and all that holiday stuff that still needs to get done. Uh, of course, I will be back in the new year with new videos. So guys, thank you for your subscriptions. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in 2011. Bye.